one of the things in my activism that is very imperative is you can, by telling a story correctly, like we spoke about earlier, of making sure these things are known is there is so much of us, and I'm speaking of humanity in its entirety, that can be understood when we understood how we've intersected, how these ethnicities and cultural contributions crossed. To understand that the Black community here in Miami was engaged in arts philanthropy, that there was a proper middle class that understood the value of culture, that there were, there, there were um, African-American men who were not only interested in sports, like one would think stereotypically, but that were invested in the social justice change as well as opera and classical music, that this was a norm once upon a time for the African-American community. And that's one of the messages that I want to send out is sometimes when you know who you are, you know, you know, know thyself <laughs> in, in essence, and a lot can be dismantled and uplifted. And to know that they were doing this not only for their community, but just so that human beings could be treated fairly across the board is a powerful message because it shows I can respect your community if I know that your community was trailblazing so that I could live a better life. And I think a lot of that part of the narrative is missing. <laughs> you know, to, to know, because sometimes people, you say things like Black Lives Matter, and everyone rolls their eyes and go, oh, they burn down stores. But to realize that 50 years ago, that community was working hard. You know, our grandparents, you know, my generation's grandparents, that's who, you know, was sponsoring these events is important. The Miami, there's a, this was only 70 years ago. <laughs> That this was that this that this change took place 70 years ago the first performing arts venue was integrated here in miami and and i think it's really important to understand as one is myself because i can easily fall into the trap of pointing fingers but when you just present the beauty of you show a collective of of men who said i want change in my community a collective of entrepreneurs who said, I want to contribute to that change. You show the people who actually showed up about close to 2,500 that evening to show the impact of that we do want to see this change, both from the white community and the African-American community. It says a lot about where we should be. And when you speak of Miami now, everyone says, oh, you know, in the art scene, just being quite frank, people say there's like the Jewish crowd and there's the Hispanic crowd and there's a Black crowd and there's a Black Caribbean crowd and none of these like to merge or intersect or support each other. The and once upon a time, it's sad because hypothetically speaking, we should have been ahead of the game <laughs> in that regard. So it's, it's, it's how do we dismantle these constructs that we've created for ourselves that really are just that. They're, you know, it's just a matter of a decision, an understanding, and a choice. 